Well, hey kids, Grandpa here. Hey, I know I haven't done a video in a long time, and I wanted to do one here. Uh, wishing everybody a Happy New Year, and uh, a wonderful 2018, and of course Merry Christmas, I kind of missed that. I tried doing a couple of live streams, but my internet access here where I'm staying is just really poor. It's actually worse than what I had up in Alaska, so. Uh, but I've been spending a lot of time with family. Uh, enjoying the heck out of my sons and their wives and uh, my grandsons and my granddaughter. Um, getting reacquainted with my my first ex-wife, Johanna, and having a wonderful time here. Staying in her garage. And uh, it's been good. It's been really good. It's been, it's been really good for me and I'm in a, I'm in a good place. So uh, made some changes in some of my plans. What else is new, right? Uh, a lot of you guys know that I was planning on going down to Florida and buying a boat. Uh, I think for the time being, I'm going to have to do uh, kind of some really bottom dollar decision stuff. And uh, it turns out the uh, state of Ohio actually changed some things. Uh, I found this real estate school here that I can do my real estate work here in Ohio, get licensed here cheaper now than I could in Florida even. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to get my real estate agent's license. I won't be a broker here in Ohio, but I'll be a real estate agent. And that's fine. I'll find a real estate broker who's willing to give me a pretty good uh, arrangement with him. And, uh, and that'll be fine. And I'll just sell real estate here as a real estate agent and do that for an income. So uh, I will eventually buy a boat and get out sailing, but uh, not going to happen right immediately. It's going to take a while. Uh, and once again, those people that signed up for the Selling with Grandpa things, they will get refunded. I'm asking you just to please be patient and bear with me. Uh, I do have another realtor that I hired up in Alaska to represent my property up there and hoping that uh, he'll uh, actually have more success with getting it sold than I have. So hopefully that'll happen here now that the holidays are over. That might happen here fairly soon. And, uh, and then I'll be able to get everybody refunded pretty quickly. Uh, but in the meantime, Miss Lily and I are sort of hunkered down here in Ohio and uh, just really enjoying spending some time with my uh, my estranged family. You know, a lot of folks I don't think understand the relationship, what's going on, so I wanted to clarify some things. I'm staying with my first wife, Johanna. I'm staying at her house. Her husband and I are friends. Uh, her husband's in a bad way. He uh, had a stroke and has some medical issues, and so I've been kind of helping her. Uh, like today, I had to help him up off the floor, and he fell. And um, and she has fibromyalgia and some other issues, so I've been helping her out, doing a lot of cooking and stuff. My two sons, for my first wife, um, I never really had a really good relationship with them. Um, due to some bad decision-making on my part and um, guilt, I guess, or what have you, I never really uh, had the relationship with my sons when they were growing up that I should have. And I, uh, I really regret that now. And I am so fortunate to have the opportunity to uh, rekindle that relationship and, uh, and renew it and uh, have an ability to heal that somewhat. And so I'm taking that very serious. I'm not going to blow this opportunity to... Um, become uh, part of the family again. And that's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, when I met my second wife and I left Ohio, um, uh, my first wife and kids were uh, not in a good way and I just wasn't there helping them like I should have. And I, I should have done more and I did not. Um, I didn't even know that they were having the hard times that they were having because that's how bad communications were and, and most of that's my fault. Um, I mean, I was the parent. I should have done better job. So, so I'm kind of making up for a lot of that and trying to fix a lot of that stuff and, and recover some of that stuff. And that's a lot of what I'm doing here right now. <clears throat> that's a priority to me. Spending some time with my family, getting to reno my family, uh, enjoying spending time with them, and they seem to be enjoying spending time with me. Um, it's really nice to uh, be able to do stuff with them. And so, and so my plans have changed. Uh, right now, I am, uh, as a lot of you guys know, you know, I was Grandpa's farm. I'm into farming and homesteading and that kind of stuff. And also into sailing. All right, come here. Miss Lily is wanting to visit and say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Hello. All right, get down. 
Get down. You said hello. Back up. Back. Back. Get. 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 Good girl. Sit. Sit. Good dog. Anyhow, um, so I, I my plan is that uh, now here in uh, Ohio, I'm going to look to try to buy myself a little piece of land and start getting back into my homesteading and farming kind of stuff. Now, I know a lot of my subscribers are going to change again because a lot of people are watching me because they want to see me go sailing. Um, it's going to be a little bit further down the line before I get uh, in a position where I'm going to be buying a boat and going sailing. Right now, I'm going to spend a lot of time uh, trying to take care of my family and get reacquainted with them. That's my priority. So, uh, I always said when I started this channel that the intent of this channel was so that my grandkids could get to know who their grandfather was because I was up in Alaska and they weren't. And it was the only way they could get to know me. Well, now I'm able... Excuse me. Now I'm able to play with them and hug them and spend time with them. And so they're getting to know who I am firsthand. So that sort of changes my perspective on these videos now. I'm still going to record them uh, because I think there's some things that uh, they'll be able to learn from and see when they're older because it'll have a different perspective than it does now. Um, and I'm going to try to incorporate them somewhat so you guys can get to know them and see them a little bit. A little bit. I don't want to do a lot. I don't want to expose my my grandkids to, you know, the buttheads and trolls out there on the internet, especially in YouTube. So we're going to limit some of that stuff. But anyhow, some of the people have uh, expressed to me that I haven't put out a video in a long time. And so I just wanted to touch base and put out something. And so I decided to record this video so you guys would know that I'm still on the planet Earth. I'm fine. I'm well. I, I was very sick for a while. I got the flu. You know, having been up in Alaska, I was sort of isolated up there. And so my immune system never had to fight off a lot of disease because I was never around other people to get sick. Well, come down here to Ohio and, of course, around the grandkids and stuff, little Petri dishes that they are. You know, I came down with the flu and I, I mean like 21 days I was down with the flu. I was really sick for a while. Uh, I still have a bit of a cough now, but I'm feeling much better. Fortunately, I got better just in time for the holidays, but uh, <clears throat> it's been a rough road. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see where things go from here. Now it's a new year, uh, starting my real estate schooling here in, uh, in Ohio pretty soon, and um, we'll see how things go. But for right now, Grandpa is alive and well and living in Ohio and enjoying my family. Um, and we'll just, we'll leave it at that. I'm going to be putting out more content about that sort of stuff. Uh, maybe some farming, maybe some agricultural stuff, maybe some homesteading stuff. Maybe some boating and sailing stuff. I don't know. Certainly some fishing as the as the weather breaks. Of course, I think I brought the cold weather with me down here. It was minus one last night. I understand we're supposed to get out of minus two. We're supposed to have a bad wind chill this evening. So, as you can see, I'm inside the cabin and I'm bundled up with... Uh, with a flannel lined uh, coat on on top of everything else because it's a little chilly inside here, but it's fine. I'm accustomed to cold, so this doesn't bother me a bit. just makes me stay younger. So, anyhow, this is Grandpa signing off. You guys have a real good time. I hope you have a wonderful 2018. Take care of yourselves. Be good to one another, okay? We'll talk to you later. Bye.